there's actually just a few th other things that I wanted to cover regarding finding that person that's right for you, etc. Um, another thing you guys need to do is start looking at what it is you're asking for. Uh, remember the saying, be careful what you wish for. There's certain things you guys need to stop asking for, and there's certain things you guys need to start asking for. Um, I want a man that has lots of money. Don't ask for that, because he may have a lot of money and very little respect for you, or a very small heart. Um, a man with no baby mama drama. He may have no baby mama drama, but he may not have anything else to offer or give you. Um, also, I think you need to, in between relationships, I think there should be a period of self-reflection um, where you don't try and hop into another relationship. I notice there's some females who have the tendency to um, they can never be single. It's like they have to constantly find a rebound or a replacement or they just don't feel right. And I think those are the type of women who need men to validate them. So you need to stop and you need to think, why is it that you need that you have that feeling? Why do you feel the need to never be single? What is that fear of, of suspected loneliness? Because ultimately when you're single, you're not necessarily lonely. Um, you're lonely if you make yourself lonely. So I think everybody needs a period of reflection to see what went wrong in the relationship, which in turn helps you think about what it is uh, God is trying to teach you by putting certain people in your path, in your life, um, making you do certain things for and with people that you may have otherwise not done. Uh, so I think self-reflection is necessary after every each and every failed relationship or encounter or whatever you want to call it uh, what else do I want to cover right now so we covered that yes. uh, so yeah so be careful what you wish for be careful what you ask for I think people need to stop having such a high criteria that's why I find it very difficult to answer the question, um, what type of guy do you like? Whenever somebody asks me that question, I, I don't really have an answer. Um, I like the type of person that gives me the feeling I get when I know I like somebody when I'm around them. Um, that may have sounded weird, but I just mean in the sense of I know who I like because I get that feeling when I'm around them. I don't like them because they're all 6'3", um, this complexion, whatever the case may be. Some people are so damn specific as to what they want that they've shut out the possibility of ever meeting somebody real. You can't hope for a dream relationship that's not reasonable, that's not feasible. You can't have a list of 20 million things you don't want and a list of two things you do want and vice versa. You can't have that. I think people just need to ask for what's right for them. Um, don't have any criteria to it. If you meet somebody and the circumstances aren't going in the direction that they should be going in, meaning uh, it's not really seeming like you're going to get the type of relationship that you are currently looking for, don't stay around and, and hope and pray for that to change because chances are it's not going to. Pick up your shit and get to getting because this also goes into realizing what it is, um, realizing your worth. Nobody, absolutely nobody can do anything to you that you do not allow them to. Nobody can cheat on you if you don't allow them to. Nobody can stand you up if you don't allow them to. Nobody can beat you if you don't allow them to. Nobody can belittle you if you don't allow them to. Everything is a choice. If you choose to stay in a bad relationship or you choose to make an attempt to change something that is a lost cause, you are asking for problems. And you clearly have not yet learned your love lesson. So start thinking about it. Start picking your brains. Um, <clears throat> start making an effort and action towards attracting that person in your life. When Steve Harvey says, 
when you set those standards, what you want will come along. It's no joke, because at the end of the day, if you set a standard, if you say every man that I want to date has to jump 12 feet, if they want to be with you, they will make their damn best attempt to jump those 12 feet. If they don't, they're gone. And good for them, because you don't want them around anyway. So why why try and, and keep something around? Why try and alter something when you can get something that's um, ready-made and pre-packaged just for you? It's like it's like your own Michelinas, okay? Like, don't look for the other person's flavor of Michelinas. Look for your flavor of Michelinas. Um, I think that was a really bad analogy, but it's okay. So, do you guys get where I'm going with this? I think it's all a matter of looking into yourself. How much do you value you? And it's true. You cannot go looking for a man, looking to invite um, another person into your life, if you have not either corrected certain things in your life or got on the track to correcting those things if you, and self-love is another thing if you don't value yourself in every aspect of valuing yourself uh, from top to bottom then how exactly is that man supposed to value you like a quote good man should and yes a lot of times there are women and this is for the men. There are women out there that have good men in front of them, staring them right in their face. And they turn away. I'm recording. Do not interrupt me. Uh, so, I think that has to do with the fact that, um, I think that has to do with the fact that, now it's awkward because my brother's standing there staring at me. <sighs> Train of thought interrupted break. God damn it. I need like, I need, I need like a blogging studio where I can just disappear into the Himalayan mountains and record my blogs and upload them for you people so I don't friggin lose my train of thought. What a crock of shit. What a piece of shit. I done lost my mind. My damn train of thought. So, whatever. I think you guys get the point. I think you get the point now. You guys need to start looking at yourselves. The reason why you're not finding a good man is because there's something about you and you're not ready for it. Oh, yes, I was talking about my point for the men. Yes, a lot of times women have a good man in front of them and it's clear, it's evident, it's obvious. However, they're shooting him down, they're punking him off at every chance they get. Why is that? Um, it could be one of two things. You're not their type, which is just something that is, that's just a natural occurrence in life. Some people aren't other people's types, and the odd time somebody who's not your type will end up liking you because they may see you as their type, because everybody has different preferences. Uh, so a lot of times it's due to the fact that they're not your type. And other instances, it has to do with the fact that they're not ready. They haven't learned their love lesson to be ready for you. I had that happen to me, and the person who was that, quote, good man that was in my life, unfortunately got murdered. Um, so, and I almost felt as if, at that point, because I was still in the there are no good men out there phase, and at that point I had now realized how good of a person that person was I felt as though my soulmate died and that I was really destined to be alone forever because they're dead they're gone they're buried in the ground but um, now I just take him as a lesson to show me he was like one of the most amazing people I have ever met in my life and I'll never ever forget him and it's it's a real shame how he died and I really hope that you know they catch the people that did it but Essentially, I now use him as a a template, a model figure, not to say that I compare every man to him, but in the sense of I know what a, um, unconditional love coming from another person should feel like, somebody who's not blood related to you, because of how he treated me um, up until the day he died. So I think that everybody needs to be very, very cognizant of that, be careful of the people that are in your life and how you treat them because you never know when they're going to disappear um, and under, under what circumstances. 
um, and men don't get offended if that girl that you're being such a good man for uh, isn't biting the bait and isn't going along with it and isn't yours already she may not be ready she may not have her life together and be ready and know what's good for her or you're just not her type and such is life so that was just a few other things I wanted to add on